Hey everybody, Hunter back again from Showtime Studios at the spray booth again. We're getting ready to do the painting tutorial. We're going to be using the Racing White uh, from Tamaya. It is uh, TS70 or TS7 is the uh, color and or the number for the color. And we've got the chassis set up here. As you can see, I've got it sitting on the Tamaya rotating stand. Uh, something else for the beginning guys out there. These are very handy to have. You can pick them up at Hobby Lobby or any, you know, well-stocked hobby shop. Um, I think you, at one time, you could get them through Michael's, but I'm not sure if they still have them or not. And usually when you get them, you get a, a two-piece set. Um, and they also give you little clamps that go in these outer slots right here. And they just slip down in there and you can clamp individual parts around the side. And they have individual holes around here also. And I've got the... Um, this solid rod sitting down in one of the holes and then they also come with one of these that you can paint your body on uh, spring loaded you can adjust the tension uh, this one needs to be cleaned up a little bit so um, that's something to put on your list of uh, things to get and what we're going to be doing next is going ahead and spray this uh, straight out of the can because that's the easiest thing for beginners out there to do so we're going to turn the booth on and make sure that you um, shake your can up real good. I can tell that this one has probably two or three marbles in it. Um, so you just want to shake the can up real good and make sure that um, if you have solids in the bottom, which, you know, a lot of, especially your darker colors and stuff, have a lot of solids in them. Uh, make sure it's shook up real well. And while you're spraying, during your uh, spray session, you know, spray a little bit, stop, shake the can some, and spray some more. Uh, just make sure that you keep everything suspended uh, inside of this can. So what we're going to do when we start spraying this is I'm going to actually turn this over this way, and I'm going to go ahead and spray everything up on top here, and then I'll turn it back over, and we'll set it back in the stand um, in whichever hole I had it in here, one of them. I had it where it fit good. And then we'll go ahead and spray everything else, the sides, the bottom, uh, because the main thing that you really want to get real well is the top of, you know, the frame rails, the top of the suspension, and then this section down through here, uh, the underneath of it. Because if I flip this over, um, you're not going to see any of this when the body goes on. You won't be able to see the top of the frame rails, the top of this battery, any of this stuff up here you won't see. So if you don't get a whole lot of paint in there, that's fine. But just get the main areas, you know, try to get everything even um, throughout the whole thing. But if you're getting low on paint or whatever and, you know, hit your main spots, make sure they're real good. And just remember what you can see and what you can't. So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. I'm going to get the uh, spray booth turned on here. It's going to be a little noisy when I first start it up. So uh, be prepared for that. And then we're going to spray the top. And then we'll spray, or we're going to spray the uh, all the top of the chassis. Then we'll put it back in here, spray the bottom, and we'll show you how to do it. So here we go. <laughs> okay, I'm just shaking it up again and just to make sure that it's all suspended within the can. And I usually do a little test spray over to the side of my filter just to make sure the tip's spraying good. Everything's looking, coming out of the can good. Uh, usually about six inches away is what I do. And just want to come in with a light mist coat. And just lightly spray everything down. Nothing real heavy. Make sure you get, you know, in behind your components, uh, down the sides of them. I'm using short bursts out of the can. I'm not holding the trigger down. And I stop as I go past each uh, swing of the can. I'll let off the, the trigger or the nozzle or the button or whatever you want to call it.
we're just trying to get everything to look good on the on the top side like I say my main focus is going to be this area up through here this back here you're not going to see a whole lot so i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time or paint in that area but you just want to make sure when everything is done that you've got everything that you can see covered and looking good okay we're going to go ahead and flip this over now and put it back in the Tamiya turntable here. We're going to shake our can again and we're going to go ahead and do the bottom part. Now all of this you want to cover real well because this is what's going to be visible if you pick the model up. To show anybody the detail underneath or if you're want to set it on a uh, mirror to display it but like I say you want to make sure that you you know try to get everything as even as you can um, some guys will say well I can't believe you're not painting back in those areas um, you know I do paint back in those areas but I just do not put a lot of paint back in there if you can't see it um, you know I can't really see spending the time or hope putting a whole lot of paint in there. But it's whichever way you want to do it. Sometimes I'll paint everything, you know, 100%. Other times I won't. It just depends on the build. And like I said, we're just doing white coats now. We're just about to shake the can again. Everything's looking real good. Want to make sure, like in these little brackets and stuff, uh, that you get plenty of paint down in them. This recess back here at the frame where the gas tank is, try to get you know paint down in that. So you got to twist and turn your can a lot to really uh, get in all the little nooks and crannies. But quick motions, short bursts of the can. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm not putting a whole lot on here, even though it seems like it. But I am trying to gloss the finish up. Uh, this Tamaya paint is glossy right out of the can. So we won't have to do any type of uh, like a clear coat to make this shiny. Uh, what you see here is pretty much what it's going to look like when it's dry. So that's the good thing about these Tamaya spray cans. Uh, very nice paint very shiny if you um, take your time and spray them right and from what I'm seeing right now that looks real good uh, I'm real happy with it looks good on the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over here and do one more light spray across everything on top just to make sure that we've got everything covered and looking good And that's it. That's all we're going to put on it. That's all it needs. So we're going to flip this back over. You can stick it back in here. Let it sit there with the booth on and dry up. Or you can turn the booth off and just let it sit there and, and gas out. This stuff usually takes about, um, uh, I would give it an hour or so. And you can pretty much pick this up and go on with it. So uh, hopefully that teaches... Uh, some helpful uh, tips on painting the chassis or anything else out of a can and we only used about maybe a quarter of that can to do this so we're going to put that back up on the shelf and if you have any questions or concerns on this uh tutorial or any of the other ones um in the series let me know and we'll be more than glad to address it and uh help you out if we can so that's all we've got for this one like always i thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later Bye-bye.